In this video we're going to look over this Nikon FE 35mm SLR camera. Now this camera is pretty beat up. Uh, we can see it's got just lots of abrasions, lots of wear. Um, the top here has a little bit of a dent right there. And when I first got this, the mirror was stuck up. And uh, a kind person pointed out that all I had to do to free that was to take out these three screws and then flip a little lever that had gotten stuck. And ever since doing that, it seems like it works fine. Now I'm still calling the camera for parts are not working because the light seals are all bad. The uh, foam up here looks pretty rough. Um, one other thing that you might notice is that uh, when the back is opened, this, this doesn't always match up exactly right, and so you have to push in on the end just a little bit to snap it shut. And most likely that, that type of damage comes from having the camera open and maybe pushing down on it a little bit to bend it a little too far. But just be aware that it takes a little bit of knowing just how to push that shot. Uh, the aperture follower ring looks like that's just fine. Uh, I did put some batteries in it. And I can, I can see the little battery indicator here. Uh, so uh, we can step down through the shutter speeds and watch it here has a really nice smooth film advance. Uh, here's that one one thousandth of a second. One five hundred. One two fiftieth. One one twenty fifth. One sixtieth. One thirtieth. One fifteenth. One eighth. One fourth. One half, one full second, and then two. This camera goes up to, well, here's a four, four seconds. And eight seconds. And eight seconds is a long time while you're just watching. But we'll watch it. Flip, close and flip back down. Um, it does look to me like the mirror is just a little bit slow moving up out of the way. Uh, here's the M90 setting, which is mechanical. It will do this even uh, if there's no battery in the camera. And then the bulb setting. And the shutter stays open as long as I hold the button down and then it closes. If we look right here, the uh, Stop down preview does actuate that lever. And if we just set this on something else here and cock it and activate the self timer, there it moves the mirror up out of the way and the timer is counting down. And there it goes. So that's functioning. Um, it does have an auto setting and it's a locking auto settings. You have to push a little button to get that back off, so that works. It's got some exposure compensation settings over here, and I can verify that I can turn that. And the ASA is also set on this ring here, uh, right there. there. That's setting that. The exposure compensation is actually this ring here. So you lift up to set that. I'll put that back at zero. The pushing the button was for the ASA. Um, so let's uh, open it up once more here. And this one, you have to pull that little lever and flip it. I just wanted to show the shutter working from the inside. We can see that the film transport is turning fine. And the uh, the back, if this one is a removable back, you can push that down and rock the little pin out of the way. I'll just leave it on for now. A um, little bit of light, resi er, uh, light seal residue, not too badly. 
And again, just have to push in on the end a little bit to snap that shut. Crank looks good. So, uh, you know, a little bit dirty viewfinder I noticed. Uh, brass showing through here. So, one of the tough old Nikons, a uh, little bit beat up. Seems like it might be okay if you just replace light seals and this foam right here and probably a general cleanup. Certainly not a camera to put on your velvet pillow in your collection, but a kind of a beater camera to take out in the field. Or use it as a source of parts to fix up your nicer one.